Local butchers across the country have fared pretty well during COVID. A combination of people wanting to avoid the grocery store, cook more for themselves, and just simply not go out to eat. Kirsten Joyce joining us now with more on that story. Denise, we caught up with Ron Lutz and his customers at his flagship butcher block store in the southwest part of town off South Rainbow Boulevard. I don't buy any meat anyplace else. It's butcher block or bust for Ronald O'Neill, a loyal customer for a year and a half. He's got lamb here, uh, Colorado lamb. He's got duck. He's got uh, everything that you can possibly think of. A full service butcher shop that custom cuts and grinds whatever you need from all parts of animals. Wild game, fish, poultry, um, beef, prime beef, choice beef, wagyu beef. Um, American style Kobe beef. Owner Ron Lutz opened up shop in 2006. Business was its strongest in March. When COVID hit, um, the, the people just flocked in. Everybody was out of beef around town, and we didn't run out of nothing. They would just show up, man. Lines out the door for two, three weeks straight. They stayed open seven days a week at all three locations, spent several grand on barriers and signage. All of his two dozen employees stayed healthy, and word spread. Social media and the people waiting in lines, you know, and telling their friends these place got business and they got meat and, you know, they got everything. So it just increased the business big time. Very, very thankful for it. Ironically, keeping up with demand at the butcher block meant temporarily shutting down the deli. We got phone calls daily about you know, to go orders and stuff, but we just couldn't perform. Bottom line, people cherish excellent quality. They're willing to pay for it. Ron constantly wants to do right by his customers. We're doing our best to you know, provide the, the lowest cost that we could. And with their return business, he knows he is. Butcher Block has two other locations, one in Centennial Hills and another on Horizon Ridge Parkway in Henderson.